Aloha kakahiaka. Good morning to all of you. Thank you for joining us at our Hello Hello and Mele this morning, this beautiful uh, morning of our full moon. Mahalani, what a wonderful time to create and garden and fish and take advantage of this beautiful Mahalani moon. But today we're gonna share a few books with you. And I would like to start talking a little bit and introducing the puke that I'm gonna read Hello Hello today. Hello Hello means to read. So the first one I'm gonna read is called The Fish and Their Gifts. And this is a wonderful book by Joshua Kaiponohea Stender. And it's actually a work of students at Kanoa Ka'aina on Hawaii Island. And it's illustrated by 10 different students that are listed here. And they got together with some mentor artists and they created this beautiful book and wrote the story. And so the artists were in middle school and high school and their names are Alexa, Leana, Lee, Pua, Keniston, Matt, Napua, Kinau, and Punahele. So mahalo for creating this beautiful puke that we're gonna share. And I'm also gonna share a book after that, which actually one of those 10 haumana, one of those 10 students that helped to make this book, made this book, Keniston, Kaika Lindsay. So we're get, we get to look at this one. This is a book of riddles. So you can see it's very similar type of artwork. And we're gonna be looking into how they did it so you can replicate your own at home as well. And we'll sing a song about fish since we're talking about the tides and the fish and their gifts. So let's get started with our first book. One day on the island of Hawaii, Near the famous beach Hapuna, a young boy named Kekoa was picking opihi. He was the son of a great fisherman named Kekai. Kekoa longed to walk in his father's footsteps. As Kekoa climbed on the rocks, he saw the biggest opihi he had ever seen. It was on the rock farthest out into the ocean. Kekoa knew it was dangerous to go that far out, but he wanted the shell to make a beautiful necklace for his tutu wahine. While Kekoa thought about the wonderful necklace he would make, a towering wave surprised him and swept him into the sea. Kekoa felt himself pulled farther and farther from the shore by the strong currents. Soon, his arms and legs beca became very tired from fighting the ocean. He was frightened. Remembering what his father had taught him, Kekoa prayed to Kanaloa, the protector of fishermen. Suddenly, schools of fish swam close together to make a floating mat of their fins and bodies. Moving as one, they drifted Kekoa safely to shore. He gave thanks to Kanaloa and to the fish for their kind rescue. At home that evening under the stars, Kekoa told his father what had happened. Kekai was grateful that his son had been rescued. The fishermen prayed to Kanaloa to bless the fish. At dawn, a huge whale appeared near Hapuna. Kanaloa himself had come to thank the fish for saving Kekoa. For protecting the son of the fisherman, I will help protect you. To each of you, I will give a gift. Choose what you wish and come forward. First came Ono. He said, Mano always catches and eats my family. Can you please help me swim faster? Instantly, Ono shot away like a streak, faster than any of the other fish in the ocean. Malolo said, No, Ono will be able to catch my family. I want wings so I can fly and escape from Ono's hungry family. Immediately, two of her fins grew into wings. Ah, oh, He'e moved forward, gurgling with anticipation. Please give me the gift of invisibility. I want to be able to hide from Puhi and his shiny white teeth. Kanaloa thought for a minute. Hmm. 
Then he gave the, uh, the ability to change his colors to match wherever he was hiding. Kanaloa also gave He'e a bag of black dye to cloud the water so that Puhi wouldn't see He'e. Hinalea timidly approached Kanaloa and requested his gift. I would like a smaller mouth so fishermen cannot hook me. Kanaloa granted all the fish the protection they desired. Akeke could now blow himself up to be bigger than the mouths of fish who usually chased him. This made his spine stick out too. Alaihi was given sharp spikes and spines. That afternoon when Kekua and his father went diving, they noticed changes in the fish. When Kekua tried to spear He'e, his target was suddenly hidden by a black cloud. Alaihi now had sharp spikes and spines. What happened, father? asked Kekua. His father replied, Kanaloa has rewarded the fish with gifts for saving you. We will offer this ho'okupu to Kanaloa to show our thanks. Remember, son, every deed deserves its just reward. My kai pipi holo ka'au. And you know, the cool thing about this book is the next page, it says, e huli, or turn. And if you turn it, then you get the other side of the book. That's all in Olelo Hawaii. So this is the side I read to you just now. And then if you huli it, it says e ho'o huli, huli. And then you get the other side of the book with the Olelo, Olelo Hawaii. So it's a bilingual book and I absolutely love it. It comes from Kanuoka Aina, the students there, which is a school that uh, is a, one, the first charter school in Hawaii actually. And um, it's heavily grounded in Ike Hawaii and Hawaiian knowledge. So they're pretty incredible over there. So mahalo for creating this Phuket. I wanted to talk a little bit about the Mana'o Nui or the main idea of the book. And um, especially about Kanaloa. Kanaloa was mentioned several times in this, in this book. And he appeared as a kohola or a whale, a humpback whale. Kanaloa is the akua of the deep sea and voyaging. And so he appears in many different kino lao or body forms as a lot of our akua had this ability to transform, to shape shift, to appear in different uh, forms in nature. And so kanaloa would often appear as a kohola or even a night a dolphin, um, as a hihimanu, you know, our uh, spotted eagle ray, all these different forms that represent the deep, deep ocean. So that is kanaloa. Now, his father, Kekua's father also reminded Kekua that uh, he was saved because of Kanaloa and Kanaloa granted the fish these gifts because of Kekua and so they left Kanaloa ho'okupu and so in the picture they, they give him a uh, you know the the lai they have the ho'okupu in the pu'olu pu'olu of lai and you would put something like a gift for a kua in there so whenever in the old days when we would go out to fish or do something very special that required ceremony or we wanted to show gratitude or thanks. Um, we would also offer, often leave ho'okupu or a gift and offering to the akua in, in hopes that we will continue to be blessed because we're taking the time to say mahalo and thank you. So that really is the big mana'o nui of this, of this book is to be grateful and show gratitude and take the time to notice the beauty around you and um, the gifts that we've all been given. So what a great story. Now, the second book I wanted to read to you, we're not gonna show slides, I'm just gonna read it up close and it's called, I am a creature of the tides, what am I? And same thing, you can huli and then it's all in Olelo Hawaii on the other side, it's just such an incredible book. So, I'm gonna read this to you and I just wanted to share some of the riddles that are in here and the artwork that was done, it's the same style of artwork and it's done, like I said, one of the students, the Haumana from Kanoka Aina took this project on. It says, I have a shell. Oh, we have to guess. Actually, I'm just going to show you the picture. You can see the picture right there. You see that? And then I'm going to read the clue and I want you to try and guess what creature of the tide it is. I have a shell that is black and white. I stick to a rock and I barely move. My shell is shaped like a hill. What am I? Hmm. 
If you guessed, opihi, you are right. I am an opihi, my kai. Okay, let's do another, a few more. Okay, the next one says, and I'll show you the picture. There's the picture. See that? Oh, it looks like a big maka, like a big eye. Let's see what it has to say. I live in the holes of rock and coral. I have sharp teeth. What am I? Hmm. If you guessed Puhi or the eel, you are right. I am Puhi. My Kai, let's do one more, maybe two more. Okay, this one. Ooh, so pretty. See, these are called thumbnails. When you just take a little small portion of the creature or the image, and then you can guess what it is. So that's a thumbnail shot of this bigger picture. I am orange or red. I have a lot of spines around my body. When one of my legs fall off, you can write with it on rocks. What am I? Hmm. I am ha ue ue. You see that? Those beautiful red urchins. So pretty. Okay, one more. One more, one more. Hmm. Okay. I am black or gray. My shell is round. I stick to the rocks. My shell looks like a snail. What am I? <laughs> I am pee pee pee. Oh, I used to love, I still do. I love going down to the beach and seeing these little pee 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 shells and they like to attach themselves to rocks like oh pee pee. And my mom would bring them home. She'd go gather the pee 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 and she would put them in a pot and boil it with some kai, some Hawaiian salt and she would get the, uh, like a sewing needle and she and pop it right out. It's almost like a scargo, like a little snail and she would eat them and with butter, garlic, but yeah, these are all things we love to eat here in Hawaii. All right, and then, oh, last one. My skin feels like rubber. I feel squishy. I move very slowly. When you pick me up and squeeze me, I squirt water at you. What am I? This is a picture right here. Ooh, what is that? What kind of creature from the tide can squirt water? Oh, I am a lolly. Yes, sea cucumber. If you're up in Hawaii or near the ocean, you definitely know what these sea cucumbers are. And the kupuna, I heard, actually would, would eat it. You know, they would, make, they would cut up the, the loli, mix it with the inamona, the kukui nut relish, pa'akai, some limu, some seaweed, and they would eat the loli. Yeah, so so many different things. We don't really eat too much today, but our kupuna took, ate everything. Whatever we could eat, we didn't waste anything. So what a great lesson. I love this artwork. So we're not going to get too far into the artwork right now. But what we're going to do is, let's see. I think we're going to sing the song right now. So I copied and pasted the image of the song into these slides so you guys can sing along with us. And the name of this song is Na'i'a Ono'e. And it means, na means a plural da, so more than one thing. Yeah. And what, what's the thing we're talking about? It's i'a. And i'a means fish. I'a also is any type of food that we eat from the ocean. So limu or seaweed is considered ia. Um, fish is ia, crab is ia, opihi is ia. That's all ia. All the things we've been talking about in our puke today are ia. So of course we're gonna sing na ia ono e. The word ono, everybody knows what ono means. Yeah? Ono is delicious, yummy. And e is often added on to the end of uh, songs to make it sound melodic. Yeah, it helps us to sing the song and make it sound very melodic. So I asked Kahale again to join me because Kahale is a Keikyo Punana Leo, uh, the Hawaiian Language Immersion School is here. I used to be a Kumu as well at Punana Leo. I was his Kumu for like four years at Punana Leo and then Kayapuni. So we sang the song many times together when he was a little, little, little thing. And now he's a grown man. And so he's going to sing this song with me that uh, holds a lot of really special memories for us. And I want you guys to sing along with us. But before I start, I'm just going to go through the different characteristics of the, of the fish. The first fish we talk about is manini. He manini ke ia he ia kaha kaha. So the motions is kaha kaha. It's a, the manini fish, it has stripes, kaha kaha. Okay, and then we go ai kako. We're going to eat ai, yeah. Awe, that means oh my goodness. Ka'onoe, and we rub our oku when we do it. Okay, that's, that's the motions, and we do that every time. So the, the only thing that changes is the fish. 
Next one is opihi. So opihi is kea pilipaa. So it sticks, it sticks to rocks, yeah? Pilipaa, that's what it means. The next fish is kala, and that's the unicorn fish. So it says hei a laikibi. So we're gonna do the laikibi, we're gonna make the horn and then aikako, awe Next fish is the vana. So we talked about how we, we, we have all different types of sea urchins. So the vana, we're gonna go like this. So we're gonna go vana, vana, right? It's pokey, pokey. The next fish is puhi. Puhi is the eel. We talked about puhi in the book here. And so what puhi does is he he he, he slides, yeah? So these are words that tell the characteristics of the fish. He, he, he. And you'll see the translation right next to it as well. And then the next fish is veke, which is a goat fish, yeah? And it's a favorite to eat over here. So the characteristic of the veke is the umi umi. He has uh, whiskers. So we go like this. This is a fun one. And then he is the next fish, which is the uh, octopus. And so he e has a, the tentacles, the pika pika. So we go pika pika. All right. And then the last verse, as we end all of our Hawaiian music, has haina, which means as I told you, this is my story. So haina ke ia, and then we make our ia like this. One hand on the other. Na ia o ke kai. Ai kako awe ko You guys ready? Mako ko. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> So you guys can enjoy this song at home. It's such a fun song. Um, and it's very repetitive. And it's a great way to remember the word, the describing the, the name of the fish and then the describing word for the fish, right? Ah, oh, so fun. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the artwork. So both of these books have a really, uh, one of my most favorite ways of doing art and that's collaging. And collaging is uh, shown here on the screen. And it's when you, um, I give directions too, so you can follow along. So the first one is paint a full sheet of paper with acrylics in all different shades of the same color. So like these are leftovers from art camp, but they're all cut out so the kids use it. So we use like different reds on one, different greens on one. Um, we had orange on another one. So we have all the different colors that you can see. And somebody was making a mountain out of this one, which is pretty cool. The next step, it says, make one full painted paper for every color you need. Just like I showed you, all the different colors you might need in your picture. Cut out the shapes to make the different parts of your picture. And then glue them onto another paper to create a whole picture. The last step, to add texture, you can use a light color paint and lightly sponge, like this sponge I have here. Use a sponge, dip it lightly in the light color paint, 
and you can do a finish over it. So you see, they do that. They did that in this in Creature of the Tides, yeah. So they did they did the collaging, and then they took like a sponge with white, and they kind of just put a light spongy layer, so it looked like the foam in the water. It adds such a nice texture to the picture. So that's really simple instructions that you guys can follow. These are art pieces of art that I've done um, with with. Oh, First, there's Kawahine Ilikea, who's my daughter. She did the two that she's posing with. And the other one is Kaluhia Feidudua, and she uh, was taking an art class for me years ago. She's a senior now, but that's a, a collage that she did of a lehua tree on the top of a mauna, on top, on top of a mountain. So I thought it was so beautiful, and I'm sure anybody can do it. So this is also an example of one that we just did in art camp, and Kawahine Ilikea did this one, and I had all the art, art camp students do it. And so they, they made a rainbow fish. There's a really cool book about a rainbow fish where he, he doesn't want to share any of his beautiful scales, you know, because he, he just thinks they're just supposed to be for him. And so he loses all his friends because he's kind of mean about it. Eventually, he ends up sharing a scale with each of his friends that asks for a pretty scale. And he has all these puka pukas and missing shell, um, not shells, but scales. And so all his friends and him have you know, pretty rainbow colors and they're all happy and he could care less that he's missing scales because he has all his friends and he shared. So anyway, that was the mana'o behind this. So that's our fish painting here. Now I also wanted to share because I love when um, you guys actually try this art, these art ideas and then send your pictures back to us and share them with us. So I had some uh, kaikamahine, some girls that just recently emailed me. I've never met them before, but they joined us in Helu Helu and Mele, so I would love to meet them one day. And they sent us photos of their artwork from last week. So we did the story of Maui snaring the sun. And so I showed them ideas on the bottom of how to do it with instructions. And they did it. They did it. And that's them posing with it on the top. I thought it was so amazing. So mahalo, kuhalia, and mali and remi for sharing that with us. Now we're going to end our helu helu and puke, uh, helu helu and mele for this week, um, but I want to really encourage you guys to visit uh, our first free lesson that we have on YouTube. Uh, we have it available on our Kahalehuaka page. Follow us on Facebook. And I have a first free lesson for this Olelo Hawaii and Ike Hawaii course. It's pretty much like what we did today, but deeper. Like you're actually going to start learning how to say sentences in Olelo Hawaii. I give you worksheets. I give you fun activities that you can do with yourself or others. Um, art ideas. Every week you get a new a new set of classes, two classes, and you get a whole bunch of worksheets and fun activities that you can do along with it. So please check out the free lesson at kahalehuaka.com. Tell your friends, check it out, that have been wanting to learn how to olelo hawaii or learn, how, learn more about our ike hawaii, the way uh, that we, we see our world here in Hawaii as kanaka maoli. I think that it has a lot to teach the rest of the world and the planet. Uh, we function from a place of, of aloha. Aloha aina, aloha ike kahi ike kahi. We love each other, we love our land. And um, we need to all kind of go back to those ideas. So mahalo again for joining us at uh, Helu Helu and Mele. And uh, again, we're gonna be on YouTube. This will be on repeat. You can watch it whenever you want. Show it to your kids, your grandkids, show it to your friend, why not? I mean, this is for any age. And I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Ahui ho, malama pono. Aui ho, malama pono. Aui ho, ene. Aui ho, ene. Malama pono, ene. Malama pono. Thank you for joining us.